you played against the likes of Messi and Ronaldo. How was it like playing against them? Well, uh, it's an incredible feeling, like, you know, I mean, coming up against uh, players, like, uh, on that level, like, you know, football. Coming up against players like that, like, from on that level, like, you know, international standard, like, and things like that, it's incredible, like, you know. Uh, obviously, like, it's a little bit, like, you know, you're nervous, like, and things like that, but uh, at the end of the day, like, uh, when you go inside the field, it's 11 against 11, like, you know, and uh, just have to give it everything you have. So many goals. Well, uh, I don't know. Like you know, I mean, like Ronaldo is on like seven hat tricks like now for the season so far. Uh, I mean, it just shows like the like the, the the talent you know, and also like the level of football like in Spain. I mean, uh, players going up to scoring like 30, 40 goals per season, and uh, it, it shows like the level like of the football in Spain like. That uh, I think uh, it's it's the biggest league in, in in the world. I think. What do you think makes them so special? Uh, obviously, like you know, for, if you look at Ronaldo and his body and things like that, I think he focuses a lot like on uh, on you know his physical aspect of the game, uh, technique and those kind of things. Uh, you see it in his free kicks, uh, you know, uh, and also in his body, like you know. It, it just shows like if you take care of yourself and also like if you work uh, on specific things like uh, that you need extra also it, it will improve you as a player a lot well for me I, I think I had the best uh, time of my career like there like uh, football wise like I mean the quality like uh, there every game like uh, you know that you play it's like a cup final uh, there's no easy easy teams or easy games and those kind of things like it's very competitive uh, and very physical as well and um, I mean I had uh, I enjoyed myself there like you know just playing uh, just being in the same league as those guys and playing against uh, against them as well well I, I strongly believe that uh, you know that uh, it's not over like you know until until the last game and uh, and uh, we still uh, we still have a chance like to get ourselves out of the situation. I know the time is uh, is it's against us like at the moment, but we still have uh, games left that we can get ourselves out. And also like depending on the other results from the other games as well. But I mean we cannot like uh, depend on uh, other teams to do us favors. We have to to get ourselves out, out of the situation. And um, I mean it's came it's come to a period like now where uh, we have to throw everything in like you know that what we have. There's no waiting on to the next game and those kind of things. We have to give everything that we have in the last few games that we that we got left. Your thoughts on the new coach Martin Knight? Well, obviously, like uh, he's here helping out the uh, the team and also the coaches and things. And obviously, like uh, I think we uh, we in this situation, like also like where whatever help we can get, like you know, uh, whether it's a guy from outside in the street, like that can give a positive influence on the team, like you know. Uh, I think it's it's good for us. Like and uh, obviously we will have to take whatever he has uh, to offer. Like also helping us in this situation uh, to get us out of this uh, this uh, uh, the situation that we're in at the moment. Um, I w when I was in uh, Recreativo Welva, we were in a situation like this, and um, uh, actually it was like I think three or four games before the end of the season, where uh, we were almost like it was almost done. And uh, against Osasuna away, and uh, I ended up scoring the goal, this, the winning goal, on the 92nd minute of the game, to give us like an extra breathing space, like you know, for trying to fight our way back out. But then, uh, um, uh, one two games after that, uh, we threw it away, and uh, we ended up getting relegated. So I mean, I don't want this to happen like uh, in this situation like now. And, and I believe that we will fight and give everything in the last few games. And also, like in here in South Africa, we have the playoffs as well, which uh, we don't want to go there. Like, but I mean, that's the worst case scenario. If we go there, we still got a chance again. So, like I said, it's it's uh, it's not over. We still have games left to go to get ourselves out of it. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.